What's up guys, this is Jeff with KindleFireWire.com. As you can see from the title of the video, I'm gonna show you how to enable an ice cream sandwich launcher, Android 4.0 launcher, on your Kindle Fire. Now, as you can see from the Fire, it's not the most elegant interface in the world. It is functional, but it's definitely, uh, it definitely leaves uh, much to be desired in the way of looks and aesthetics as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm gonna show you how you can enable a very beautiful interface courtesy of Syndicate Apps. Now here is Syndicate Apps website here and they have a couple of launchers that you can download. They had one for Honeycomb and now they have one for Ice Cream Sandwich and this one is a beauty folks. I'm gonna show you how you can enable this. All you need to do is go to their uh, releases uh, section on their website and then you can download the latest version of their Ice Cream Sandwich launcher to turn your Kindle Fire into something beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on this here and then install this Ice Cream Sandwich 2.4 Launcher APK file. And it's installing right now. And once the installation is complete and you try to go back home, you're gonna see this right here. Just a second, there it is. So when you go home, it asks you how you wanna complete your action. You can either use the Stock Launcher or the Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 Launcher. So let's make Ice Cream Sandwich default, tap on it, and there it is, folks. Beautiful, is it not? That is the Ice Cream Sandwich launcher for the Kindle Fire. It doesn't even look like the same tablet. And you can see all my Google apps on there. I have Maps, Google Talk, Google Voice, Pandora, Widgets, all this stuff on here. And really, it does transform the Fire into something beautiful, something different, at least. Um, so this is the Ice Cream Sandwich launcher for the Kindle Fire and uh, it has a lot of features. I'm not gonna cover all the features in this video. You're gonna have to check it out for yourself, but I will touch on some high-level things here, um, and this is the interface. And as you can see, I have tons of different apps here. I have tons of Google apps, for one thing, and it's just, I just loaded down this tablet with all the Google functionality. I have the Dolphin browser, Netflix, Pandora, Dropbox, The Market, uh, Google Music even, and it just, it really is nice. And as you can see, it's a pretty smooth, um, pretty smooth launcher. You can see it just swipes back and forth with no problem, no lag or anything like that. You can even enable widgets and things to your home screen. You can change your wallpaper. Um, folders don't work quite yet. Not everything works because this still is in beta. But as you can see, you can add all these different widgets depending on which apps you have installed. So let's add a search widget just to show you exactly how it works here. And there it is. There is a search widget and you can drag it around just by tapping and holding on it. You can resize it if you want to do that just like this. And it works pretty pretty well. And that's how all pretty much all the widgets work here on the ice cream sandwich launcher there. And you can just tap on that and start typing. Whatever you want to search for, you Android users will already know exactly what this does. So what else are we going to talk about here? Well, there's the Pandora widget. And then you also have the launcher for your Kindle Fire. So you can always go back to the stock interface of your Kindle Fire if you want to go back to that for some reason. It is good for just reading or it's good for functionality, but it's not the prettiest tool in this shed by any means. But all your functionality still remains there, so don't worry about that. You can switch between launchers at any time. So folks, I appreciate you visiting and looking at this video. If you want to learn more, then head over to KindleFireWire.com. Tell your friends, tell your family. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. And you can see my Twitter handle right there. It's at Jeff Ben Jim. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Give me a shout out. If you have any questions, let me know. But that is how you enable the ice cream sandwich launcher on your Kindle Fire. It changes the whole scheme of things. Changes the whole look right up. It makes it look a lot better. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. This is Jeff with KindleFireWire.com.